for an idle animation, you're probably going to want to look at a few references. The animation is going to be dependent on a couple of things. One of them is your art style. Another one is the personality of your character. And also you're going to want to keep in consideration the kind of moves that your character is going to have. For an idle pose, if it's an action game, rarely do you want your character just standing like this. You want your character to be in a little bit of a pose. Once you've got something down that looks pretty much the way you want it to, go ahead and select all the bones, click I, and then location, rotation, and scale. In the action editor, it should come up with all your bones and a singular keyframe that this pose has now been saved as this keyframe. Now to make him breathe, pose your character into two poses, one when he's inhaled and one when he's exhaled. Typically speaking, there's a bit of delay when the arms go down after you exhale. So I'm just going to push all the keyframes with the arms just a bit forward. And I'm also going to do the same with the chest, the neck and the head. When all that's done, you should have something that looks pretty natural like this. And this idle animation is ready to be looped. So to do that, select all your keyframes, duplicate everything so that the first set of keyframes starts just after he's gone back from the exhale to the inhale. So shift D to duplicate and then do exactly that. Play the animation back to see if your idle animation is still looking the way you want it to be. If not, you basically want to go in and then tweak it. But if you're happy with it, go over to the last of whatever keyframes is just after your first key pose before the second key pose starts. For me, that's the chest, neck and the head. Then when you're on the those keyframes, select everything, press I, location, rotation, scale, and then do the exact same thing for the very last keyframes since those should be the very same as the keyframes that you just made. Press I, location, rotation, scale, and then grab all the ones before and then delete them and move the entire animation back to the beginning. Go over to your last keyframe, make that the end of the timeline, and then press Alt A to see for yourself if it loops. And in the end, you'll have something that looks pretty much like this, or something similar, or something other like. Now to get this to run in the game engine, what you're going to want to do first of all is name your animation. Right now it should be named whatever name your model has with the word action at the end. Backspace that and then rename this idle. After you've done that, go into the logic bit editor and then get an always sensor. Then you're going to want to hook that up to an and and then get an action actuator. Name this always idle. Replace play with loop stop and then go over to your idle animation. Hook that up and then set the end frame to the last frame of your animation, minus 240. For now that should be fine because if you press play to play the game engine, your character now breathes in the game engine. And that is your idle animation complete.